In this video, I will give you a quick overview of how does the ASMaster transfer its sleep data to the 7 CPU. Okay, let's start. First, let's uh, see the wiring diagram. The wiring diagram looks like this one. Uh, here is the AC. Here is the S7 CPU. Here is the AS master. Those are the slaves. The CPU connected to the AS master by proof bus, and uh, the uh, sensor actuator or the slaves connected to the AS master by the AC cable. So, as you see, the VR address are included on the sensors. So let's let's create. Oh, let's go to the schematic manager and create new project. Okay, let me give the name of the project, like PLC to the RC must. Okay, let's start. Let's insert the three hundred station. Okay, let me give station name to the CPU or oh, PLC. Okay, now let's configure the hardware configuration. Okay. Let's insert the uh, rack. And uh, insert the CPU. The C my CPU is 317 2DP. Okay, this one. Version 3.3. Okay. Let's create the uh, Profibus network PB1. Let me give the name to PB1. Okay, good. Now let's insert the AC master. My AC master is uh, BWU2234. Let's search this one. Nothing here, this one. So let's add this one to my Profibus network. Give at Profibus address 30. Let me use 30. Okay, great. Now, what is the latest adding the input output byte? Okay, in here. So before adding the IO bytes that are used to transfer data to CPU, let's discuss this one. This one is the IO mapping digital for the digital for analog is different. So let's see this one. If I have four bytes IO, it only addresses from zero to seven slave. That uh, means there is no zero. Address is not given for uh, slaves, so starting one to seven. And if I add eight bytes, only I uh, only address from one to fifteen slaves, fifteen slaves. If I add from twelve bytes, I only add twenty-three slaves. If I add sixteen bytes. I I can add the slaves from one to thirty-one. That's the full address range. So I can add this one. Okay, let's go to the hardware configuration. Okay. Let me add the, the, the command interface. Command uh, like let me use this one. This is used to communicate the status of the AC master and the slaves or how the PLC requests or sends a command to 
Gates, the status of the Asi slaves in the Seamaster Club, like the, the, the status of problems, like powerful, uh, short circuit, slave duplicated, slave missing. Those uh, error messages are sent by this command. This one is a little bit uh, he uh, little bit huge, so I will make a video on this one and jump this one. Let's focus on today's topic. I want to send the IO signals that is 31 slaves here. This can address all. All range of slave addresses. This one C1 means for the channel one and C2 is for the channel two. So I will, I only use the channel one. So let me add this one. Okay. Let me make this one 10. 10. So we will let's compile. No worries. So Let's see the address mapping. Okay. The address mapping. This one. This one is the one that uses to map slave address to the digital IO. This is for only digital one. Okay. Here it starts from the tens bit. So as you see. So here the tens bit. From 0 to 3 bits are assigned for slave 1, 4 to 7 are for the slave 0, 0 is not given for the slaves, so it's empty. Or the next byte is 11, 11 is as you see from 11, 0 to 3 are for slave 3, from 4 to 7 bits are for slave 2. So let us see the where in the what slaves we have then we will give name give name okay we have slave 4 slave 6 slave 8 10 11 12 so let's give the name on the hardware configuration okay So like, let's see the mapping. Slave 4 is 11 is bit from 4, starting 4 to 7. So I will give this one. Eleven twelve, then 4. This one is slave for what is the next one slave six slave six is let's see the slave six certain bit in the fourth one certain bit the slave six okay let's see the, the other one slave eight slave it is fourteen starting four okay fourteen starting four slave slave Eight. Slave eight. What is the other? Slave eight. It's this one is. Ha this module has four input and four output. Okay.
Sorry, sorry, sorry. And put one. And put two. Sorry, sorry. Just in the other race. Okay. Eight, 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 eight is this one. Input one. Input two. Input three. Input four. For us, the output is like this one. Let's output uh, fourteen. Fourteen for this one. This one output output one. Output two. Output three. Good. What is the other one? This one is slave 10 is the output device. So let's kill slave 10. The mapping from the mapping slave 10. Output slave 10. It's byte 15. Byte 15. Selecting by 15, the starting from bit 4. It has 4 of the output. Starting 15 for selecting output 1, 2, 3. Good. And the other is the list. So let's see from the wiring diagram. So the other one is 11. 11. Slave address 11. This is PC insert input. So let's give input 11. 11. The mapping is. Input 11, 11. This is byte 15, starting 0. Okay, 15 starting 0. Input is 15 starting 0. Slave address 11. Okay, what is left? Okay, the, uh, this one is also module. Uh, it has two input and uh, two output. Slave twelve. Slave slave twelve. So let's see the mapping. Slave twelve is here. The sixteen bit starting four. Starting four. Sixteen bits starting four. This one slave twelve input input one input one two and for the output also it is sixteen from starting for I'll put, I'll put 16 
todo el tiempo output one copy okay let us see we finished the naming and all the mapping of our slave address to the IO module so we finish this one so let's apply now we done the hardware configuration hardware configuration this save in the compile don't forget to this one okay 